What is going on, boys and girls? It's your boy Mystic here, bringing you another video. And if you haven't noticed, I've been on that daily upload grind. I've been trying to find cool things to upload. And today, what I have planned for you guys is another class setup. Because I noticed I was looking through all the stats from each and every one of my videos, and I was checking the most popular videos. And the Razorback class setup was pretty high up there, so. I was like, you know, why not just bring another one? I think it'll do good. So, what we have today is the KN44. Most of you guys know, everyone who plays the O3 should know this assault rifle. It's like, kind of a hybrid. It's like half SMG, half assault rifle, because it's amazing at challenging SMGs, and it's amazing. Wow, I can't talk. It's amazing at longer ranges, too. So, what you're going to be watching here in the background is some gameplay of me playing hard points yesterday night with my brother we kind of went off we won the game we scraped the other team i broke 60 kills it was pretty fun so first we're gonna start it off of course the km 44 assault rifle and i'm sorry that i can't i don't really have all the attachments well not all the attachments all the perks that i want i don't have any more unlock tokens so anyways we'll start off with the quick draw grip because you want to be able to aim down sights faster when you're challenging smgs because you guys know smgs aim down sight a whole lot quicker than assault rifles and if you even want to stand a chance at close range you're gonna need that quick draw um and by the way no optic on this gun because i i feel like the optics are pretty clear they're pretty nice optics you just have to get used to them in my opinion so the next attachment is going to be grip because when you get in those longer ranges, as you know, this gun is an assault rifle, it kind of kicks up and down a whole lot, so you're going to need that grip to help you stay on target. And last but not least, fast mags, because the reload time on this thing is horrendous. I don't know, if you're watching the gameplay, you might have noticed that reloading takes a while, and it kind of like throws me off a little bit because I can't start shooting as soon as I want to if I have no bullets. And also in the gameplay, sorry that I don't have fast mags, I thought of it after the game, and that gameplay was just too good to, like, pass up as a background gameplay. I mean, I've gotten a few with this class setup, but that one's just amazing, and it's in hard point something I don't play often. So, the fast mags is basically, yeah, you reload faster. And then, secondaries, nothing, lethals, nothing, tacticals, nothing. Perk 1. I mean, it's your choice, but since I usually rush with this class, I prefer using Afterburner because it recharges your thrusters faster and you have more thrust in, like, a quicker time. Like, you can just jump around as much as you want. And I don't know if you're watching the gameplay or not, if you're even paying attention to it, I tend to jump around a lot. That's my thing. Even when I do 1v1s, I fly across the map with the thrusters because they are amazing. Then in the perk 2 slot, we are going to be using fast hands, because it helps you, well, not only swap weapons, but like, if you want to aim down sight faster after sprinting, usually I run around sprinting, because this is my rush class, this is my try hard rush, I'm like, I'm pissed off class, so I usually sprint around trying to kill people, and I can't really play without fast hands on this class, because if I want to rush, you need it, because if you're sprinting, and you run into an SMG, you're not going to be able to challenge it without fast hands. You're already going to be dead by the time you pull up your sights. So that's why fast hands is necessary. Sorry about that giant squeak. I don't know if you heard that. That was my chair. Maybe I should reset up a bit. Yeah. But anyways, first, we're going to be using a second perk 2, so you're going to need perk 2 greed. And what you're going to want to put in perk 2 greed is scavenger, because with this class, I like to stay alive. For a long time, and since it's a pretty high fire rate weapon, you're gonna need scavenger considering it like runs out of bullets very quickly, especially if you're like me. I spray until I know the person is dead. I just spray, 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 and if I have to pre fire, I will pre fire because I mean it's still a kill, right? So you're gonna wanna put scavenger on there. Sorry, I don't have the unlock token yet to do it, but I still wanted to make this video because I'm trying to stay on the daily upload grind and then perk three you're either well i prefer gung-ho because gung-ho is amazing some people might not like it some people think it's only for shotguns but nope it is not for shotguns only it works beautifully on smgs and on some rifles it helps you kind of well you hit fire your weapon while running you do all that stuff you can deploy equipment 
throw grenades while sprinting, even though we don't have equipment or grenades, it's still amazing. The other perk I would recommend, though, if you're not going to be playing objective, like OBJ game modes, is to use dead silence, because in team deathmatch, you get soundboard a whole lot. And I have a quick little story about Kung Ho from today, just like literally minutes before I'm recording this. So I was playing on Stronghold, and I ran up to some dude to get last kill, and I spray at him. Right? And since I have Gung Ho, the weapon shot before my sights were even, like, aimed down. And, like, it was crazy. If, you know, I think I'll include the clip. Because you guys should see that. This is what Gung Ho does. And it's a pretty cool clip. And he was like, bro, how'd you do that? Are you a hacker? I ain't never seen nothing like that before. And I was like, nah, bro, I'm using a regular PS4 controller. Well, Black Ops 3 edition, of course, because that's my game <laughs> but anyways he was all surprised and like he was so confused and i'm like bro try out gung ho gung ho's amazing and he was like all right all right i'll try it but you gotta watch the kill cam that was some bs i was like all right i'm down i'm down i'll do it for you Bruh. <laughs> but anyways guys that is just about the whole class setup it's a short video i hope you guys enjoyed you know what just to be that guy since i don't have any camos i gotta use nuketown nuketown doesn't look too bad on this gun anyways but if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to like and subscribe and i will see you guys on the split peace out